Hey guys, Deepa here, welcome to the channel. So today's video will be showcasing the Celestial Alliance. This is not by any means a perfected Doom stack. Matter of fact, I just recruited this army here, right? This is still fairly early on, or mid game I would say, it's level 60 here. But uh, these guys are very low, right? There is no skills allocated, only one here for Skyfire. Also, these guys just got recruited, so not much experience, they have one or two ranks there. So, we are up against Morathi here, level 29, with an okay army, and also another half a stack and a dragon, right? Of course, we are playing on very hard difficulty, so max down modifiers there, right? And so, legendary campaign, very hard difficulty in terms of battle. Now, here's the thing. I will test out the 20 stack first, and then we do 40, just to see how it all flows. Now... Given that this is not maxed out by any means, I don't expect this to, to perform flawlessly. But I do not. think we should be able to beat General. these guys quite easily. Battle is okay. So it's giving us close defeat here, which I don't believe it's correct, but anyways. Let's see how we go. So there's, I'm going to do two things here, right? I will not be micromanaging. Minimal, minimal management. I just want to throw them straight in there and see how they go. And also... I'll be fast forwarding this, the whole thing in the interest of time. I don't want this video to drag on forever, right? So, let's see how we go. The one peeve I have with the Celestial Generals though, they, they're very squishy. For a unit that's very melee oriented, they're very, very, very squishy. But they do have this mount, so... I also forgot to put any of the banners on. But it shouldn't make much of a difference here. So... We'll have two groups, one and two there. Fight as one. Okay, so group one will go right away on Marathi there. These guys will go there, and these other guys will just go there. Anyways, let's see how we go. Okay, so Marathi is going down nice and easy there. Okay, she's about to be run out of there. These archers are giving me a bit of grief. Okay, I think that's more out down there. Okay. Now we're gonna go. Okay, that's not more out done. Really? So this is what I mean, they're very squishy, this very, very squishy Celestial Generals. Okay. Bring this guy there for the buffs. Okay, dragon's going down, nice and slow. That's just a buff for him. Okay. I'm gonna go straight for the archers here. They have negative leadership, but they're not gonna break. Okay, we'll keep this guy around for the buffs. I mean, they did take out Marathi and the dragon, but I expected a little bit more from these guys. These guys should theoretically start breaking soon. Oops, I misclicked that one. Doesn't matter, we should win. It's an absolute slugfest in here.
Okay, back on fast forward, and there we go. We didn't use any units. Sorry, we didn't lose any units. But that was not impressive at all. Like, Marathi just spanked this guy. She absolutely clapped his cheeks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, hey, look, it's not. You can perfect it, you can make it a lot stronger. But is this going to be a Doom stack that can take on like three or four stacks? I don't think so. I just don't see it. You can recruit them fairly early. I think in this playthrough I, I recruited one of them like at level 30. I didn't use it for ages though. So, But I had it recruited very, very early on. So you can um, exploit his mechanic to uh, construct buildings fast. And you can just rush. As long as you have the growth, you can just rush through the tiers. And they're only a tier 3 unit, so you can get them fairly early on. They're very D though. So I wouldn't recommend it. I'll just go for like an archer stack for Cathay. And you can pump out a lot of those with Yombo. So we didn't lose any, right? Anyways, now let's try 40 of them at once. Alright guys, we're just going to be very careful here so we don't forfeit. Given that all of our units are flying units. Which is a little bit silly. Uh, we'll get those guys down. Okay, wait for the reinforcements. They are on force march, by the way. So they're going to come a lot sooner, it seems. 40 seconds. We can do this as control group 1. Okay. Perfect. Now these guys are about to come in. Almost there. And these guys can be control group too. We can shield one another. We await the enemy. Okay. And we're gonna do the same thing here, guys. Okay, hopefully we don't forfeit. Okay, let's just land them quickly. <laughs> There's like 40 of them there. Okay, back to fast forward. Oh, we did just throw him straight into the melee there. I feel like you have to separate him, otherwise... It's like diminishing returns if you clutter him too fast. As you can see here, they do a lot better when they're not as cluttered. Yeah, way better. And now that I've put them all together again... Okay, get the dragon down. Come on, get the dragon down. Cool. Well, let's get Marathi down. You see they're not doing too much damage to Marathi. There's just too many of them there. They can't get through. Come on, get Marathi down, please. Yeah, that's the, that's the downside of this, I suppose. <laughs> Look at how many of them there is. Guys, there's a much more efficient way of doing this, but... I'm not here to micromanage, I just want to test them out. So, they struggle with small entities, obviously. But once you spread them out, they do a lot better. Is this a groundbreaking Doomstack? Absolutely not. Um... Is it something that can take on like four stacks? Absolutely not. I mean, it's not even maxed, obviously, but but still, they are struggling with Marathi here. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. You guys go there. You guys go there. And then we we'll get a couple to fight her. Nah, they're getting spanked. We might lose one here. 
too. I feel like we did better when we just ran with one stack. Yeah, she's just not taking nowhere near as much damage as she should be. That's like the law of diminishing returns right there, guys. Just because we packed a lot more, it does not make it better. Okay, down there. Yes, it's actually counterproductive to stack so many of them. As guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think this is a good Doom stack? You do get it fairly early on at T3. Obviously, I wasn't using it to its full potential. I wasn't micromanaging anything like that, right? But um, I just threw them there, just to see how they do. If I had that many Sentinel Warriors, it would have been a different story. Those guys would just run over everything. And price-wise, they're not that much more. But hey, it's up to you. You do get these guys um, early on. Personally, I would say stick to the archer stacks, and then if you really want doom stacks, run sentinels. Or even though his birds that Legend of Total War showcased were not bad. But these guys are nothing spectacular. Anyways guys, thank you for watching, I hope to catch you next video. Peace.